So I'm interviewing Bob Aaron of Aaron and Aaron Law Firm, probably one of the oldest family firms because your second generation firm started in 1930, which is amazing accomplishment for second generation. And you're, you've been around a few years yourself. I've been around a couple of years. A couple of years. And you're a well-known columnist for the Toronto Star. You've been writing for the Star for... 48 years. 48 years. I've been reading you in the Toronto Star for 48 years. Wow. You started when you were six? Yes. For coloring your... <laughs> but, um, Bob, let's talk about a will. I know what intestate is. Would you explain what happens when someone's intestate? Intestate means you die without a will. Right. Even if you had discussed a will with family or a lawyer, if it's not written down, signed, and witnessed, there is no will. And the procedure then. So somebody passes away, they have a bungalow, a basic bungalow. What happens? The law says, uh, the law sets out a procedure for uh, what happens if you don't have a will and you have a wife and no children, a wife and children, uh, no wife, no children, and cousins. So there's... There's a, there's, a, a, there's a hierarchy. hierarchy. There's a hierarchy of who gets what if there's no will. And of course, if there is no will and no family, the government will hold money forever. So it'll just go into an account with the government. Her Majesty there. the Queen. That's right. But there, there's a misconception that if you don't have a will, the government gets all the money. That's not true. Hmm. The government will hold the money for the, the proper claimants if they come forward, and if they don't, fine. So, somebody dies intestate, they were common law. Again, I know the answer to this. Um, does common law count towards real estate? No. The real estate itself? No. Because if I understand the law correctly, the ju a judge basically ruled that if you loved each other enough, you would have put your own title. Isn't that the the, the, the common law spouse may have a claim yes. for contribution, contribution for personal care for the increase in value based on his or her investment in the property, right. but is not treated like a spouse for estate purposes. What happens um, when we have a will and somebody has done their homework and they've they've, got it, they've come to you, they've got a will, but they haven't been back to see you in some years, and in the will, they have heirs, and some of the heirs, the heirs have passed away. Or, let's even go further, an heir, their son or daughter has divorced. What if they named the, 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 the daughter-in-law or son-in-law in the will? Should they, they, they really made a mistake. They should have come back and changed it, shouldn't they? A properly drafted will will provide for the death of a beneficiary or a beneficiary spouse or even a separation. It might say, I give this amount of money to my daughter-in-law or my son-in-law, provided they're still living together and married. That's the, provi that's the little rider. That's right. So there's no such thing as a simple will. Hmm. People come to me and say, I want a simple will. And then I start asking questions. What happens if the person dies? What happens if the person's divorced? What happens if there's grandchildren, but the parents are gone? Do the grandchildren get it, or does it go to the, the other sibling? So there's all these permutations and combinations which can make it complicated. Hmm. And, and that's why I say there's no such thing as a simple will. Right. People say, okay, husband to wife, that's it. That's all I want. And then I say, well, what happens on the death of the second one? What happens if there's a mutual accident, an airplane or a car? Where does the money go? Who looks after the, the liquidation and distribution? Who files the income tax forms? Does the, does the money go to a distant relative? Does it go to the grandchildren? What happens if the parents and the grandchildren are gone? Where does the money go? And of course, we read about it every weekend. There's always a car accident. That's the wife's right. out on, oh, God forbid, you know, it, it's terrible, but entire families get killed in fires or car accidents or whatever. So you have to provide for a lot of what ifs. And let me, and, and coming to that last thing, I was chastised, I think, by you about an heir, not an heir, pardon me, an executor, I should say. It's, it's great if somebody's a good executor, but if they're older than you are, you're better to have a younger executor. It's better you? to have a younger executor. Can you name two executors if one, pre, if one is... Pre I, always, I always do that. I say one, second, sometimes a third and fourth choice. I see. Or I'll say all four kids are executors. If, they, if somebody wants to step down afterwards, that's fine. But that way there won't be... Executors could die before the person themselves. That's right. That's right. So you have to... That's... So that's what I'm cautioning people who are watching this. 
make sure you have an alternative to an executor because the executor could not be in capacity. And I say to my clients, if you're not going to die, you don't need a will. Thanks, Bob. Thank you so very much. And, and, and best advice today is, no matter who you are, if you haven't updated your will in a few years... Update it. Update it. Mandatory, right? How many... Every time there's... Well, it's not every couple of years. It's when there's a life change. When there's a life change. Always update your will. But a properly drafted will will already take into account a life change. So somebody who has no grandchildren might say, and if I have grandchildren, each one gets $10,000. I lied to you a second. I said, last question. I'm going to add one more. Are will kits worth their anything? Will kits are so dangerous. They are the favorite toy of litigators who do estate lawsuits. Really? And they provide so much grounds for fertile litigation, and they can eat up the value of an estate. Don't use a will kit. What a great piece of advice. What a great way to end this. Thanks, Bob. Thank Very. you so much. Bob Aaron, Aaron and Aaron Lawyers.